Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to install the KNN filter into the F80 M3. This is a quick DIY video, so follow me and let me show you how it's done. So today we have a visitor, we have Officer Amari next to me and she said that she's going to oversee and monitor the progress on today's video. So say hi to everyone, Mama. Hi. You have to speak louder. Say hi, Mama. Say hi here to them. Hi. Tu vas, tu vas superviser mon travail aujourd'hui? Mm -hmm. hmm? Tu montes tes boots? Oh, it's Mickey Mouse. No, that's Winnie Mouse. Are you going to supervise the work that I do here? Mm? Okay. So she's going to supervise the work. And if she sees that I'm doing things wrong, she's probably going to fine me. And then I will have to pay some fine in terms of ice cream or cookies. So with Officer Marie, I have to make sure that I do this job properly. And why would you need to install a Canon air filter? Well, just because it provides more airflow into the engine and more airflow results in an increase, a tiny bit increase in horsepower. That's exactly what I'm trying to get here and also maybe hear a little more of the tubo sound. That's right, that's right, Mama? Yeah. Okay, so she approves this comment. So, let's go ahead now and tackle the DIY. This job is a fairly simple one. We have to do is remove that plastic cover right there remove that plastic cover right there remove this strut brace that will give us access to lift the lid of the filter right here and pretty much remove the charcoal filter and slide in the cannon filter we have to do the exact same steps right here now there are two filters that we're going to remove in each one i'm going to only going to show the process of one and then after that show you the process of how i insert the cannon air filter so let's go ahead and remove the covers and the strut brace. Using a 10 millimeter, go ahead and remove one, two. You really don't have to remove it. You're only turning it 90 degrees. There's only one way it will turn. Go ahead, do that. All right. And then using your trim remover tool, you have to remove a few rivets. You have one right here. Go ahead and pop that out. Okay, go ahead and remove this one and this one. Once those are out, you will be able to pull this cover. After the cover is removed, you see that you have now the bolt that are being used to secure the brace. Now, normally we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolt that we have to remove. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Once you remove all the rivet, go ahead and move this plastic guard on the side and then start removing all the 13 millimeter bolt holding the strut brace. 13 millimeter, let's go ahead and remove them. Remember, the one on the front, the two here on the front are shorter. So when we install back, we have to remember that this one comes here on the front. Ah, now we can remove the carbon fiber stud brace. This is actually the first time I remove it. Ah, I forgot one bolt. There's a 10 millimeter right here that we also have to remove. Let me go ahead and do that. Now we go ahead and take that away and move it to the side. Each filter has its own set of screws. Those are T25. One, two, three, four, five. There's a six right there. Seven right here that we have to remove. So after you remove all those, we'll be able to lift the cover and pull the filter. That's exactly what I'm gonna do on both ends right now. Next, I'll have to lift the filter housing and then slide the filter out. So 
So as you can see, here's the difference. Here's the factory, here's the Canon. This one is high performance, so it pretty much leaves a lot more air through the engine. So that's factory, that's Canon. Now, this is the type of filter that will keep the factory box. Now, the aftermarket version of filters, coal filter that will actually replace even these pipes right here. This is not what I set up for. Maybe in the future, I will upgrade this to that. But for now, this one will do for me. This is the filter that I have in my car. And my car has about 48,000 miles. And yeah, you can see that's it. I'm not sure if the dealer ever changed this. But you can see how a few particles in there. That's the side that goes towards the engine. And this one is on the top again. 48,000 miles. So that's the one that I will move on the other side. Now let's go ahead and throw in the Canon filter. Screw everything back up. Put back the brace. And then we call it a day. Alright, job is complete. I've put everything back together, all the six 13 millimeter bolts. Remember to put the shortest one on the front here. And when you talk this, talk it to 21 Newton meters. And yeah, that's about it. When I drive it, hopefully I will hear a little more of the turbo sound. And I don't think I'm going to see the change or increase in horsepower. I might have to clean up the engine bay a little bit. I see a little dust. Like you can clearly see there. So I might have to do a little cleaning sometimes in this engine bay. All right, so this is it, man. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I have this F80 M3 and A36 M3 and the R56 Mini Cooper on this channel. I do mods on all these three cars. So stay tuned and make sure that you subscribe so that you can enjoy all this content. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.